Okay guys, Ronin TV, we're gonna to talk today real quick just about the best way that I found to mount the GoPro because people ask me a lot um, how you get it so uh, firm on there um, so it doesn't come loose uh, during a game or um, you know, basically just stay steady the whole time. Now, best way I've found, and this should be a real short video, is, you'll see this is super, uh, uh, doesn't shake at all. Um, actually, Handlebar mount. Um, I can't speak towards any of the other brand masks, but if you have a JT brand mask with a Spectra lens, you know, whether it's a Flex 8 like this, or a Spectra, or um, a Pro Flex, whatever, um, it's got these vent holes at the top. You can get my other finger in here like this. So, best way I found is to pick up a Take this off so you can get a better look in. Okay, there we go. So we got that off. Now, the best way I found to, to get this thing on is to get a, this particular mount is a, sorry, it's dirty. I just played with it the other day and haven't washed it yet. This is a um, handlebar mount uh, that you can get through, you know, just look up GoPro handlebar mount on Amazon or eBay or whatever. I think I paid like six bucks for it. Um, Basically, you take the bottom half off, it screws in to each half, and it clamps around the um, handlebar. Take the bottom half off, you don't need it. If you don't bike, you can pitch it. You'll never use it again. Um, then, we take, there's an adapter piece that would go from here to the GoPro itself. Get rid of that, too. Sorry, I ran out of room there for a second. So, you can actually uh, mount this top half of this bracket to the GoPro case itself. And then the screw just goes right through to the bolt. Um, from there, you've got these vents on the um, the flex. You can actually go straight through those. And I'll see if we can get in here and get a good look at these bolts. See, I just used the basic um, hex head bolts from like a bottom line or whatever. Uh, was that 730 seconds? I don't remember what the threading is. But I just used standard ones of those. And then um, they actually went right into these bolts. It's in the light here for you to see that are in the bracket itself. Ooh. Okay. Um, basically, they go just straight through on each side, makes it nice, firm, attached. Now, what I am going to do is add some washers. I haven't done just because, and they haven't yet, and they don't look like they're close to, but I don't want these holes to start to tear and these bolt heads to kind of rip through. Um, so there you go, it mounts nice and firm, and then you just slap your, um, if you even want to use a visor, you slap the visor on. I like it because then I don't have to worry about getting crap in here from hits. Um, and, you know, that's what visors do and keeps the sun out of your eyes. So, Okay, here we are back with the visor on. As you can see, there's, um, there's just enough clearance for it. Um, I can angle it a tad down. I can angle it plenty up. Um, but this catches footage basically perfect. Um, it doesn't catch any of the visor in the image. It's just barely out. That angle down is just enough. Um, and it catches everything I see. You can check out uh, my game footage uh, in one of my other videos to see exactly, um, you know, how it sees what I see. Um, and like I said, it's a mount with pretty much any JT mask that has that venting at the top. I can't speak for other brands. I have only used JT since like 1994. So, um, that's all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, go and uh, play with your GoPros. Thanks.